Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here, Church's Texas Chicken. I swear, in Canada, it was only Church's, now it's Church's Texas Chicken. I tell you what. Oh, why did I rip this? This was 15 cents. Here in Canada, they're charging bags for 15 cents now, just for takeout. I haven't had Texas Church's Chicken in a while, so it calls Church's Texas Chicken. In Vietnam, it's called Texas Chicken. Uh, what do you guys got? Oh! What a rare find! Look at this! <laughs> Not to save the turtle straw, holy! I'm definitely throwing that in right there. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely, definitely save this one. Wow. Amazing. Like I said, back in the day when I was in uh, Vietnam. Funniest thing ever. I don't know. It's so funny to me. It's just very funny. It's just like, um... Vietnam has saved this, uh, the turtle straw. But then in their supermarkets, they have turtles for sale to eat. <laughs> so save the turtles, but eat the turtles too, right? I like that. I like that. So Texas chicken or church's chicken. Blah, 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 church's, let's just call it church's chicken. But it says church's Texas chicken. So church's chicken. Super pumped for this. I ain't gonna lie, it smells like Popeyes. Like it, they have the recipe down like Popeyes, but it looks amazing. The color and everything too, crunch wise. Let's just go for it. Super pumped for this. Mm. Kind of does taste like Papa's. Man, that is delicious. <laughs> The crunch factor outside and spirit interior is juicy. Outside is crunchy, crumbly. I'm getting a lot of, of spices in this one. Back in the day, I didn't get that much spices, but this time around, a lot of spices. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Very, very similar to um, Popeye's chicken, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the gravy actually looks very delicious, nice and brown all around. <laughs> Their mashed potatoes looks Real, in a way, but it's probably instant. Look at this. Look at this. Bite on this. Quick time. It's got a nice, super powerful. Wow. That hey, reminds me of childhood. I was going to a buffet back in the day, eat fried chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy. And this brought back. Ooh. Okay. We got coleslaw. Look at this. Nice, beautiful coleslaw. Nice and fresh and healthy, packed with mayonnaise. Mmm, coleslaw everywhere worldwide is generic. Everybody has the same coleslaw recipe. Besides KFC back in the day. <laughs> they had that neon green. Whatever happened to that neon green? Right, there you go. Mmm, let's click on this diet here. <laughs> Because we are on a diet, diet cola. Very good. Anything coming out of the fountain is more um, fizzy. It's more soda-y versus the, the bottle. Like I had the Coke and the Dr. Pepper the other day. Like I just like kind of opened it and just like poured it out in a cup and drank it. It, was, it didn't compare to uh, fountain drink. I did say two cokes, but the lady gave me a orange. <laughs> that is got nice super office. Made the coke right now. Mmm. Orange soda. Very delicious. Okay. Let's go. Next. Jalapeno poppers. Haven't had this in a while. Okay. I don't think Vietnam had it, but it looks so juicy in the outside. Inside is all around crusty, guys. A little dunk. Oh man, super pop for this.
Mm. I want to make this one day. I want to make this whole menu one day. I pretty much got the whole menu. And it's a study type of purpose right now because I'm studying right now. So I'm just like, fine, I just eat it just to make an excuse to eat fried chicken. But be honest, no. I'm studying it. <laughs> I'm studying fried chicken. Right? I want to be the best fried chicken out there. So I have to study every competitor out there. Right? So you might think I'm eating this to enjoy it, but I'm actually studying it. <laughs> Okay, onion rings. Super problem. This looks really crunchy on the outside. Does it be A and W uh, onion rings? I don't know. Let's give it a try. Majority of the time I go down to A and W and have their onion rings, it's always just like crust here, crust there, crust this, crust this, and sometimes it's like no crust at all. I'm dunking into look at this. The gravy. Look at this. Ooh. Super problem. Mmm. Mmm. This gravy here, very peppery. Next up are these beautiful chicken tenders, nice and curvy. No matter if it's curvy like this, you just kind of break it up like this. Oh man. Every chicken I see, or every chicken tender I see by the looks of it, on the inside of it, oh, excuse me, it looks brined. So there's always like a texture wise when it comes down to brining, but. And it looks like this. It kind of just looks like um, pretty much the fiber kind of just like become glossy. That's what it is. So one dunkaroo. <laughs> dunkaroo. Okay. Super pumped for this. Honey mustard. Hats off. These are really, really, really good chicken tenders. Mmm. Nice, juicy, spicy, crunchy all around. I'm not sure if I remember if I ate Popeye's chicken tenders. But these Popeye's, what is it, Popeye's? Texas chicken, chicken. Texas church chicken, chicken tenders are off the chain right now. A close up on their Mexicana. Oh man, nice and burnt crust on the top. What makes this Mexicana? Big shout out to all the Mexicans out there. You guys consider this a Mexican burger or Mexican sandwich? Mexican, this is yours. <laughs> it's yours. What did I say? This is yours. This is your dish. You know, I'll be kind of choked up too, you know? with like a fast food joint be like Vietnamese sandwich and they make something like this. <laughs> but it's probably still delicious. <clears throat> I know why they call it Mexicano. Oh. Fried tortilla on it. <laughs> they got you guys good. <laughs> It's like uh, it's like the foot foot burger one day when I try the foot burger uh, at McDonald's in Vietnam. Disgusting. <laughs> mm. That curly fries over here. You know what? It's still a good sandwich, but I don't know. Don't call it the Mexican. I don't know. Who, I don't know who who decided to call it the Mexican sandwich, Mexican sandwich. Fried chicken, cheese, a little slightly peppery sauce, tomato, lettuce, and fried to be. <laughs> Still a very tasty sandwich though. I don't know why. Okay. Next, this thing. Honey butter biscuits. Out of all food, fast food, aside from the honey butter biscuit is the best biscuit out there, you know? Like Papa's. Papa's will be like looking at this and be like, no, we want our customers to choke. <laughs> we want, <laughs> well, over on this side, it's like, we want our customer to enjoy it. Like, there's a nice coating all around, butter and honey all around. I mean, you just nibble on it, it's just amazing. 
super best. Mm. Soft, airy in the inside. The outside has a, like a nice texture, like a crunch texture. Definitely taste the honey and the butter all around. Mmm. Like when it comes down to like movie nights, I'm definitely going out on my way to buying like 30 of these and just like chilling and just like like sitting on the couch and just nibbling on it. Oh man, this is amazing. Sweet, savory, all of the above. If I can say, I'm gonna say it. These are definitely the best, best biscuits I ever taste, ever pop in my mouth. Mmm. You don't even have to worry about being choked out on this. <laughs> They're so buttery and good. A Mexican wrap or something. I don't know. It was a Mexican wrap, I think. It's called a, a wrap. Mexican wrap. Oh, man. Kind of reminds me of the Twisters. Remember the Twisters? Does uh, KFC still sell Twisters? Oh, look at that. Fried chicken inside, mayonnaise, tomatoes, lettuce all around. Let's go. Super off of this. I'm going to bite it right in the middle because the middle has all the filling and the goodness. No. No. Because when I bite the top, it's just going to be crust. So in the middle. Yeah, let's do in the middle. Super pop for this. Mmm. It's definitely... Definitely giving me the zinger vibes. Mmm. Mm. Everything's delicious. Tasted everything. Very delicious. But nothing beats this right here. The thighs. Put down comment. What are you? Chicken wing? Thighs? Mmm. White meat. Rum. Mmm. I was say meat. I'm a thigh guy, the chicken ass type of guy. Mmm. You gotta love that oyster. <laughs> oh man. Alright, great study today, guys.